Okay, so this is kind of my second run in with my remote control power unit here. It does okay. Chains make a lot of noise. You can see the motors flex on the motor mounts as it uh, tries to change direction. It doesn't like going backwards. Or at least not trying to change direction anyway. Chair motors get a little warm after a while. Other than that, it seems to do fine. There are a bunch of issues with it that I got to work through. I'll give a quick walk around here. I indicated from my last video that this was a old three wheel zero turn mower front mount so the mower was out here engine used to be here and so i replaced it with a battery pack uh, this is a brushed dc motor controller it's really just for this test and to see proof of concept that this works two old school wheelchair motors. They get a little heat after running for a few minutes and just even running on the pavement here, they get warm. So some of the issues I've got with it here. First one is the rear tire, I need to fix that. It loses air just about as fast as I put it in. These sprockets here, these are original. They're really loose. The shaft is worn down from not getting any grease. Those are certainly not helping with the chain noise and probably some of the issues that I'm seeing with reversing the directions and such. And it's a lot of also lost efficiency there and just the drive. Not the best when you're dealing with a battery pack that takes extra time to recharge versus refilling with fuel. So. DC motor controller here, it takes 7 to 35 volts input. This battery pack is a, a 12S, so 12 series lithium cells, which is greater than the controller can handle. So I have had to isolate two of them and jump back to being 10 in series. I gotta be careful when I charge this pack up, I'll have to charge up the 10 cells. So they have equal voltage and then I can charge all of them up together. Uh, wire them all back in series and then charge them up together. I don't want to reconnect these cells to the original pack because then they'll be unbalanced and that's not good. That's how you create, uh, you destroy cells and you cause fires and such. So the chain drives need some work. I think you can see here that the chain is not straight up and down. So it's got kind of a, a curve to it. That's not good. That might be part of the reason why it, and whatever's going on there is probably not helpful either. For the reason why that uh, motor kind of jumps around when I want to change direction. Same with the other side. I need to work on my motor mounts and getting the, these shafts here parallel with the base, parallel with the base of the, um, mower yeah mower base I have the motors kind of tweaked weird in order to try to get the chains to line up a bit better so they're not they're not straight on or the drive drive shaft in the gearbox is not perpendicular to this shaft which is not helpful or parallel to this shaft 
perpendicular to the sidewall. What else? That bird can really shut up now. That was the first time having something remote controlled, so that was, it's been different trying to learn how to run that. One more thing about the motor controller. So I have some connectors here. These connectors are actually only rated for 13 amps continuous. So they should be larger because the output of this uh, motor controller is limited to 30 amps output on each, uh, each side, each uh, left and right drive. So I should have the next step up connector for those. It's not been a problem. There's no heat that's been generated because it's not a, not a continuous run here. Or I have not been running it continuously. I am reaching the motor cutout current though, I can tell that. So the, I don't know, my amp clamp, the battery is dead in it. So I don't have a way to check what the current is actually going to each motor, but I am, I'm reaching the maximum output of this, this drive here. I think for a first test, it's been good. Gives me an idea of what I need to do better. I need to, might need to go looking for oh, higher power motors, possibly, because these will get hot for continuous duty use. And I don't know how they'll react to pushing the, the mower deck around in the grass. So I'm a little concerned with that. as those chains are. It's still fun to drive and pretty good, actually. Thanks for watching.